I feel so lucky to have been chosen for this program. The entire trip impressed me so much. But in my opinion, the teaching experience was the most impressive aspect. Teaching at a primary school completely exchanged my attitude towards language teaching and learning. And I was very proud of what we achieved. I will remember this teaching experience for the rest of my life. Let me think. So when I first read the topic, the teaching experience was the first thing that came to my mind. Hmm, why? Why did the teaching experience impress me the most? Okay, introduction done. Now, what do I write about first? Oh, the lesson observation. That was the first thing we experienced. That was good. I was very inspired. Well, I don't have the answer right now. I guess I just come back to the introduction later. So I was most impressed by the teaching component, and one of the first things that came to my mind was the lesson observation. Again, why? Hmm. Ah, I remember. I was pleasantly surprised. The lesson was very interactive, and I was inspired. But why was that surprising to me? Hmm, I guess I thought I'd just be reading words aloud, repeating the pronunciation nonstop, and completing boring worksheets one after another. So, um, why did I think it was interactive? Okay, so um, how was the lesson planned? Let me just list everything I observed first. Hey, Anna sent us great and feedback. Did you see it? Oh yeah, I just checked. I got a C for content and organization.、Oh, really? What did you get? Well,、uh, better than a C. So, what were her comments? Just do you mind sending to me? Done. Ah, got it. She said my introduction was overwhelmed with emotions. She could tell I got a lot from the service, but she doesn't know what I actually gain. But I did say that the experience completely changed my attitude towards language learning, right? Well. She did explain and suggest that you could have identified the preconception you had, the new mode of thinking and awareness you developed, and then you could have summarized what you have learned in the introduction. She also said that by doing so, you would have explained to the reader why the teaching experience impressed you the most. Well, I thought the readers need background information first, so that's why I described how I felt about the teaching experience. In the introduction, and then in the body paragraphs, I first described the experience extensively, and then talked about what I learned. Well, I guess that's why her comment was that your reflection seems like to be a documentation of your thought process. I guess I could have started the paragraph by stating how the lesson observation challenged me. To reevaluate my teaching approach to become more learner-centered, and then point out what I used to think and how I approached the goals I set for my lessons. After that, I could have then described the lesson I observed, and then discuss why and how I reevaluate my approach based on what I observed. Well, what is done is done. Hey, send me yours. 
got it. Wow, how do you and I go through the same surface, choose the same topic, and focus, but write something completely different? We all experience it in different ways. That's why it's a reflection. Well, and you know that what I actually take time to reflect and plan. I don't just follow my heart or my memory and just type. 